Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I had a haul at Hobby Lobby. I had a $100 gift card and I was really curious to see what I would be able to get. So check it out. Hobby Lobby was nice enough to give me a $100 gift card. And so I'm going to show you everything I got. I think I left about $1.30 on the card. So check out everything I could get for about $99 at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to show you everything, most of which I think everything except one item was on sale. So I'll show you all of that. Let's go through it. First up is the Master's Touch brand brush markers and there's 24 in here. And I'm just going to pop this open. You can see all the different colors. And again, it's that Master's Touch brand. And I believe these were 40% off or half off. I'll put all the prices in the description below. Um, but let me just grab one of the colors here and do a quick swatch for you. They do feel awfully lightweight, these pens. And seems to work just like any other brush pen. If you push a little heavier, you get the nice thick lines or the nice thin lines, depending on how hard you're pressing. And then the fine tip side looks good. So not bad, they do feel lightweight, tends to feel a little less expensive, um, but you know, $17 full price for 24 markers, that is a very inexpensive price. And then I believe they were half off, um, but again, I'll put that exact price in the description below. So not bad on those, look forward to using those. Next item up is this Christmas craft twine. You get three rolls in here, the red, green, and the mixed red and green and white. And I bought these mainly to use for tags and junk journals and things. And it was cheaper than buying, I think red by itself was about $3. So this would have been closer to $9 to buy all three separately. But I'll get a lot of use out of that. Next up are these glue pens. Now these were the one full price item. They were $2.99, so about a dollar a pen. Not bad. And this was, I think, the only thing I didn't have or that wasn't on sale. And I thought these were glue sticks but let me show you one i thought they were skinny glue stick pens which i've had before so i was actually thinking that's what it was gonna be so i was awfully surprised and look when i when i took the cap off i must have been squeezing it a little bit and that's why i got that explosion of glue and it just happened to land on my scrap paper which i'm grateful for but this glue you could see will put down in a nice fine line um, but otherwise, it looks a lot like just your regular Elmer's glue. There we go. We'll see that scrap paper more coming up. All right, so not glue pens, not glue stick like pens, but actual uh, liquid glue pen. Okay, that was not on sale. Let me grab the next item here is this block of wood stamps. And it's this really cute brush letter font, but nice and small. I'm thinking for uh, scripture journaling or for creative journaling. Also, you could use it in your planner. And this was $12.99, but all the stamps were, I believe, 40% off. Again, I'll put those prices in the description. And then in that same aisle were more stamps. This is a clear set of stamps. I bought these to use for backgrounds. And you get some nice geometric designs and some just kind of splotches where you could just have some color down. Let me go ahead and pull these out because I have seen people recently ask how to use the clear stamps. If you're used to the rubber stamps on the blocks of wood, these are a little bit different. You get these thin kind of silicone jelly stamps. And then what you do is you take an acrylic block and you would just stick the stamp right down and you can see it kind of sticks to plastic. Now they do make acrylic blocks specifically for these clear stamps, but I heard somebody say in a pinch, you could also use an old CD case, those hard plastic CD cases that would work as well. But you do want it clear so that you could see right where you're putting that stamp. But so we add some clear stamps. Those were also included in that sale. Now, some of the things I got that weren't on sale were actually on clearance. So see that red sticker on there, make sure you're looking for those clearance items. Sometimes they're hanging on the shelf where they normally go but sometimes they move them and they're over in a clearance section. So make sure you check both places. But that stencil was only 74 cents. And then I got this pack of inks, 12 different colors here. This is one of the more expensive items I got, but the inks were on sale with those stamps. So 
when you're buying things, make sure to check the ad to see if they're going to be on sale that week. Chances are, if it's not on sale that week, it might be on sale the next week. So sometimes a little bit of patience comes in handy at Hobby Lobby. But these are little teardrop ink pads. And these packs are a perfect way to get a lot of colors. And let me grab that scrap paper so you can see what this pink looks like. There we go. And I'll just put a little bit of that down. Yeah. So you can use ink pads or stencils or just rub it right on your paper. Not bad. So I'll get a lot of use out of those. Okay, then I love this watercolor set. This is one of my favorite things I got. And again, it was on clearance hanging with the normal stuff. Now, Hobby Lobby is interesting because they have a couple places where the watercolors are. Most of the watercolors are back in the art department, but some are up in the paper crafting department. So make sure you check both spots. And again, this one was on clearance. So this one was hanging in the normal spot in the paper crafting section, but also check that section for clearance, if that makes sense. But I love this little to-go size watercolor set. Great for taking on trips or just if you want to go to the park or the beach and watercolor. You get that card for putting swatches down and then you get the little watercolor tubs. And let me show you one here. Let me just pull one out. And they're wrapped up almost like little bouillon cubes. So you could see you would just unpeel that wrapper and then the little tray with a color in it and you would pop that tray back in there. Yeah, I love these little sets. And the whole middle section does come out. So if you wanna clean behind it, you can do so. And then the little piece of metal, you can fold back in a place to hold those colors in. So see, they don't fall out unless you come in and press that back. And then I can take that color out. There we go. And then that pops back in. And let me show you the little ring flap on the back. Okay, see that little ring on the back? You can slide one of your fingers through. And then it just kind of helps stabilize, helps you hold that whole tray while you're painting. So again, great for on the go. You could just hold the paint in one hand and your brush in the other. Yeah, I love these little sets. <laughs> All right, and again, great deal because these shades were on clearance. All right, and that set was in the paper crafting, not back with the watercolors in the art department. So I got a couple rolls of washi tape. I love these. Uh, they're nice neutrals I can use in journaling, scripture journaling or junk journaling, um, any kind of creative journaling really, even my planner. So love paper crafts and these will go great. Let me give you a little swatch of each. Now this blue one is interesting because there is a little border along the top and bottom, but this kind of yellow pink one does go all the way to the edge. I'll give you a little close up here too. Very cute on those. And those, the paper studio items were half off when I was there. So make sure again, make sure you're getting those on sale. Uh, Agenda 52 is their planner line that is also Paper Studio. So those were half off. And these tags are great because they come with little self-adhesive strips on there. So they're ready to pop right on. Scriptures, journals, whatever you want. So I'm going to enjoy using all those little colorful tags. Then I got this pack of stickers. These are Tim Holtz stickers. These were on sale. And I was watching another YouTuber, I actually forget who it was, but she was using these word strips over stickers in her junk journals and they just turned out so cute. So this book comes with eight pages of these and they're just kind of random little words. The golden leaves with all my heart, a record of the past. She dreamed beautiful dreams. You know, it looks as if you'd cut them out of books. These three to five word thoughts. All right, then I got this pack of die cuts and they're not stickers. They're just die cuts. So you would need to glue them down or 
adhere them some way, but they're these really pretty florals. You get the eight designs here and you get three of each. So a little repetition there, but I don't mind. And they're just absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm thinking for journals and I'm looking forward to using these. All right, we're still going here, hang in there. All right, then there's this cute Christmas sticker book back in the Christmas crafts. And yes, this, the hobby stores do put out Christmas in the end of August, beginning of September, because if you're going to make crafts, especially if you're selling them at a trade show or something, you need to start early, right? So they do get that Christmas stuff out early. Don't be annoyed by it. It's for all those crafters <laughs> to get their Christmas projects done before Christmas. So you get several sheets of these Christmas alphabets, two of each. And then let me give you a little flip through here. Some of these are really beautiful. And then you get these circles, almost like seals. And the red and green, more traditional color, Merry Christmas. Even some pink in there. And then I love that red sleigh and the trees. Absolutely beautiful. And then here we get this old fashioned looking vintage Santa, the really cute house, the lights. Noel, a snowman stockings, and then a whole sheet of blue snowflakes, all blue and white. And then this one started looking familiar. There's that deer again. And there's those circles again. So that's about the time I realized we're having some repeats here. They are the exact same. So we do get three of each after you go through the alphabet stickers. Those alphabet stickers, you only get two of each page. But then you get three of all the rest of these pages. Yeah, I was trying to see if I knew that before I bought the sticker book. But you do get three sets of the rest of those stickers. And then this top page is different. And I'll show you that top page a little closer. Yeah, so that top page, you get that big Merry Christmas seal. Another deer, the cardinal on the Merry Christmas. Um, but kind of interesting that you get those three sets. I was not expecting to get, you know, fewer stickers repeated. And part of that problem is the way that they have these sticker books sealed with the stickers on the side. So you can only see about the bottom third when you're flipping through it. So I didn't recognize just from the bottom third that those pages were repeating. But that's all right. We'll find uses for those. No problem. So everything else I got were these stickers. Also the paper studio. And so the Happy Planner had some gardening sticker books. And I was like, you know, I need more birds and I need more butterflies. So I bought this sticker sheet. And then about two days later, the Happy Planner came out with their fall release preview and showed that they have an entire butterfly line. So a little, maybe a little repetitive there, but I can always use more butterflies and birds. And I love this Easter set. Really beautiful. I can use a lot of these, whether it's Easter or not. All right, let me actually put some of these aside because I have two different categories here. Some are for me and some are for music students. Okay. So again, these I'm thinking journaling, junk journaling or scripture journaling. Absolutely beautiful. This kind of vintage look. Yeah, I love the silverware and the postcard. <laughs> it's just really pretty. And then I love these hot air balloons with the bikes and the flowers. And you can use these in your planner as well, but I'm mainly thinking of my junk journaling. Okay, so let me put those aside. So all the rest of these stickers are for my, mainly for the piano students. Um, when they pass off a song in their books, they like putting a sticker on there. So we have these fun holographic robots and the farm animals, or uh, zoo animals, sorry. And all of these were half off again, because it was the week that the paper studio stuff was half off. And let's see. We have a smaller sheet of zoo animals. This one has crocodiles and so cute. Love the race cars. Again, kind of a holographic foil. And this one is a kid favorite. The lizards, iguanas, snails, turtles, crocodiles, and snakes. They love that one. And then I got a cute butterfly and ladybugs and bees and flowers 
really cute. Some under the sea characters here. These are a little bigger. I try to keep them kind of small so that they could fit on their page with all their music and still not cover any words or music. And some summer fun, like pool inflatables. I just thought those were really cute. Maybe save those for next summer. And some tiny little dogs. And some outer space, space shuttle astronauts, planets, moons, stars, suns. And that is my huge sticker haul that goes along with my huge Hobby Lobby haul. So let me pull everything back over. It's got to be something like 15, 16 sheets of stickers, the ink pads, the glue, the twine, the watercolors, that sticker book, the washi tape, the tabs, the markers, die cuts, another sticker book, stamp set, clear stamp set, and that stencil. And so again, I'll put all the prices of everything. It was almost $100, came in just a little under, even after tax and everything. So this is what $100 looks like at Hobby Lobby. Now, of course, you could get one thing that's more expensive, and that would also be $100. But this is what my hodgepodge of arts and crafts and some Christmas supplies thrown in there. But I'm going to get a lot of use out of all of these. Now, it was two different weeks. The artist, the markers, and I think that might have been the only thing. The artist touch stuff was on sale a different week than the paper studio stuff. So I did go back two different trips to get all of this. But it was all one gift card. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you just love Hobby Lobby? I love it. Just look at all the great deals we found. And again, only one item in here was full price. So you can definitely save a lot of money there. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. I'll definitely have more hauls coming up from all the craft stores. And if you want to see how I use any of this as well, stick around for that. I'll also put a link to the Color Street Nails in the description below. Check out how to get a free set and a free gift if you order before the end of September. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.